everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope all is well. Today I thought I'd kind of go over uh, a little more detail on what we call the secret formula of Jiu Jitsu. You can watch that one. If you go and click on it, you can kind of get a refresher on what it's about. Basically, it comes down to what we have here is our G is equal to our P plus our T, where G is our game, P is our physicality, and T is our technique. I had a couple of questions came on, actually a few of them, and I think we did a video on it as well, about what do you do if you're an older guy? Or what if you're becoming older and you're starting to slow down versus your younger classmates or schoolmates or, or academy mates, there we go. How do you keep up with them? Or should you even train with them? Or is it true that the, your belt level actually goes down as you get older? To the last question, maybe. But it really comes down to your physicality. As you get older, our physicality begins to decrease. Now, if our technique doesn't get any better, then here's what happens. Our overall game will then decline as well, right? As we age and we weaken, providing our technique stays the same, our overall game will decline as well. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you and that kind of explains why a lot of us may be thinking, I can't seem to keep up with guys. I used to be able to beat a lot of guys, but now I can't beat too many guys. I still do the same jujitsu, but <clears throat> I'm just not winning anymore. And that happens with all of us. I mean, there's no, there's no way around it. We're all gonna get old. So don't feel that just because you beat somebody today means that you still have to beat them 10 years from now when they're 20 years younger than you. Just because somebody is a lot younger than you doesn't mean that they're necessarily better than you. Their G is higher because their P hasn't declined yet. So what we want to do is think of this. We want to make sure that our G either stays the same or goes up, right? And we like to think, well, it doesn't matter that I'm 49 years old. I should still be able to hang with guys that are younger than me, uh, that are lower ranked than me, and sometimes even guys that are the same rank as me. I, 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 I tell myself that I shouldn't feel like uh, I should lose out to them just because I'm older. There's one way to fix that, and the way you fix that is you have to constantly be increasing your technique. That means you're never stopping learning, you're never, you're never stopping seeking out new information. So I'll give you an example. So Professor Dave, he's always, always, every time I see him, he's coming up with new things uh, for me to work on and then for me to teach. He's doing it, uh, Professor Jack is doing it. Like Professor Jack, he sees Hickson a lot. Believe it or not, Hickson is coming up with new twists to what he does. Say if you learned a technique from Hickson 20 years ago, he'll likely have, have, have been updating it over the course of the years to the point where it might have been updated six, seven, eight times and every time it gets updated, it's better. So a lot of people who, who don't innovate, then they will have that declining game over time. Now look, look what happens. As your physicality starts to deplete, it's gonna look like, in fact, let me redraw it for you so you can kind of see it, let me clean this up. So if you imagine the technique is starting to rise and the physicality is starting to decline, you're gonna to get to a point where, see if you add these two together, your game is actually level, right? Because the rate at which your technique increases is the same as it negates what your, what your physicality is decreasing. So you have this effect. You're flatlining, which means you're actually getting better, but overall you're maintaining what you've got, which is the, the least that we can expect and, and, and sometimes the most we can hope for when you get older. Now what happens eventually, these two will bump up against each other. This will happen here and this will happen here where they will meet. Now the hope is that when they meet, as long as the technique is progressing, your game will do this. Meaning that whatever decline you get on the, on the physicality, your technique will then push it up and make up for that loss in physicality. But in order to do this, in order to accomplish this, you need to innovate. And if you don't innovate on your own, or if, you're, if the, the members of your academy are not innovating to make your techniques better and more efficient, then you need to find a way to learn more. And you can do it by 
constantly attending seminars, by uh, taking privates with, uh, with instructors. It could be your instructor, it could be other instructors. Just know that you don't have to have a declining game. Of course, there is gonna be a point at which you're not gonna be able to progress your technique and your physicality is gonna decline just so fast that you can't really keep up with your declining physicality. And that's where you get into, you, know, you look at some of these old grandmasters that I, 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 I seen one, I forget, remember, I forget remember what his last name is, but uh, he was about 70 some odd years old. He was training with Leo Vieira and he was doing fine, but you could tell Leo Vieira was just playing around uh, because this, this guy was in his 70s, he doesn't have the physicality, but at least he kept up with his technique to a point where he could train at, at, at age 70. So strive for this if you're say 50 and above, and maybe you can take it up a little bit, but you need to constantly learn. Don't get yourself in a rut. Don't just practice the same things over and over. Look for ways to improve it. Look for ways to get a choke set up from guard, for instance, with less effort, right? If you ever watch Hickson and you see his seminars, there's some video clips of his seminars that are on the web somewhere. You see how efficient he is in his movement. Keep in mind, the man's busted up. I mean, he's, 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 he's got physical issues and ailments that, that most of us don't have. Yet, when he's on the mat, he is extraordinary because his technical level is so high and it's continuing to go high. His mind is still sharp and his body has been doing this so long, he can make his body do things even though the body's hurting. So use him as an inspiration and, and try to do that with yourself. Now, if you're, if you're doing that and your physicality is not declining, in fact, you're maybe in your teens and 20s and your physicality is doing this, then any rise in technique you have will then make your game increase even more. So you have this, you know, let's call it one, you have this, that's one, and then you have this, which is two. So they add up to create this. So if you increase your technicality while you're still getting stronger, so let's say you are hitting the gym, um, or you're just getting stronger as a matter of age. You, you haven't reached your physical peak yet, right? For men, uh, men training, I've seen the men hit their physical peak probably in their early 30s. And up to that point, they're just getting stronger and faster and, and they're getting harder to stop just physically alone. That's where they're in this situation. But this, this can keep going until the day you die. So keep this going, get this to a really high level and you'll make up for any decline that you will eventually suffer or first you get the plateau and then you start to decline. That's just nature. So what will happen is this will not increase as quickly. And in fact, this will also plateau. And what you want is to, you want to be able to keep it level because your technique keeps rising. So anyway, I hope that helped you. And for those of you that are older, don't, don't give up. Keep learning, keep working on the technique and you will do fine. And it's not the case, I don't believe it's a case where every 10 years means you're gonna drop a belt level. That part is really up to you. If you stagnate on the T, then it'll happen. If you don't stagnate, it won't. That's all I got for you. Take care and happy training, bye-bye. If you'd like to help the channel out, we've got some links below in the description box uh, for some books that I think are really good. If you click on them and you make a purchase, then you help out the channel. If not, that's fine. Keep enjoying what you're watching. Take care. Thanks for joining us. Happy training. Bye-bye.